Welcome to Shanghai. Shanghai is one of the world's major centers for finance, business and economics, research and technology, manufacturing, transportation, tourism and culture. Shanghai is known for its cuisine and local dialects. In this vlog, we'll be discussing with a foreigner living in Shanghai. Let's see what she has to tell us about life in Shanghai. We also visited a popular street here in Shanghai, which is the Nanjing Street. Shanghai is a vibrant metropolis in which the Western culture fuses with the Chinese one. It is worth visiting for its beautiful skyline and attractions. So sit back and enjoy the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel turn on your notification button to be notified every time we upload a new video because we post more about our lives living in China and Hello! Hi! Hello! Where are you guys from? I'm fine. Hi. Wow. How long have you people been in China? About nine months. Nine months? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you are here today. You're a student, right? Yes. Which school? Now I'm very Okay. Okay, we are from Nigeria. Nigeria? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just came to Shanghai to look around. Yeah. Um, I've been in. Chi I've been in. I've, how long have, you, have I been in China? China or Shanghai? China. Okay, I've been in Sh China for eight years now. Yes. Oh, that's a very long time. Yeah, but I just came to Shanghai. I came yesterday. I came in yesterday. So I came from here for very long time. No, 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 just for tourism. Okay, so. Which city are you inside? I there everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I there everywhere. You've been everywhere for Yeah, I've, I've been in I've been okay, like we just came from Beijing. Okay. But where I stay, where my visa is as well, my school is Taiyuan. Shanshi Taiyuan. But I'm a PhD student, so we this in different different places. Okay. So this eight years is funny. Yes, I did. First of all, I did one year for Chinese. After that, I did uh, my masters. After that, I'm now doing my PhD. Yeah. To me, I'm studying medicine. Medicine. Okay. You'll be graduating this year. Next year. Wow. That's. I'm Francis Gaye. I'm Catherine. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you're from what's the capital of Free Town, right? Yes. <laughs> I know there's another city where you have your airport. Then you know I actually I have a YouTube channel. This for my YouTube. <laughs> so you don't no. see me free time. <laughs> so I just want to ask, how is life as a black person here in China, especially as a female living in China? I don't have anything much to say, but life has been nice and I've been because I'm a very sick personnel. Okay. So yeah, it's also very personnel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So for me, life has been good. Nice. I've been busy. Yeah. I don't have a lot of time to go outside and do that. Like you've not been to any city here in China. Which city? Beijing. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. Oh. So you encourage other Africans, they can come to China, no problem. Well, for me, um, it depends on what yeah. the person is looking at. Yeah. Yeah. So for this year, for some people, I think it's okay, like for your master's yeah, 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 yeah. for your life, or for us, like a medical person, like a medical student, it's really challenging, especially if you're not just in Chinese, because it's difficult to apply, it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time for you to study and then 
for you to be able to understand what they are seeing. It's true. And you have to preview, you need to study that head. Yes, you are right. You go to class. If not, you might not understand what they are saying. I understand so, very well. For example, if, we, if we have been studying for like two hours, now you need to come to class and then you study for four hours or more. Or if not, the case, yeah. Yeah. Okay. you won't learn anything. anything. So for me, for medical students, if they want to come here, they need to be put here. That like your foundation needs to be strong. If your foundation is not strong, it's really challenging for you here. Because at times, that time is very short. Like for example, my country yeah. takes eight years to study medicine. Okay. And yeah, I would just say five years because in total six years for the first year, you have to learn the Chinese. And then the fifth year is the fourth. So like that time is very, very short. They are very, very poor. So they will go more they got more faster. Yeah. So your foundation is strong for you to be able to study here if not in the market. But for you that are doing other courses, yeah. masters, of course, you're not in English. No, no, no. I actually did my masters in Chinese because I got scholarship in Nigeria before I came to China. <laughs> So for me, I think it's okay. I don't have problem with Mandarin. Before, I think I'm trying, but I'm just saying medical is medical very good. The, the, the course itself is actually very good because if we are studying in English or whatever, Right. Okay, Bob. My, okay, apart from that, life generally is okay life for you. It's okay. For me, I will not get to do anything bad, but I get to this case that people are talking about. For once, I have not experienced it. I have a lot of Chinese friends. friends. Like the last time I went to one of my Chinese friends, I went to see her mom and okay. grandparents. I live with them there for a couple of days before okay. coming back to Shanghai. They teach me well, like my professors also, that I'm with. They are given part of me. Okay. So for me, life is good. Mm -hmm. All right. Because and then China is on the bank stage, which is the most important. Especially for we women. Yeah. yeah, because most times, if you want to go to some countries, as we have to think about your safety and. But here in China, you can walk. You can just pick up around twelve and walk around. Not no problem. Yeah. Any place is safe. And then the environment is conducive. Okay. And transportation is very comfortable. So for me, life is good in general. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. So you can hear what she's saying. That you can come to China. No wahala. Yes, no no wahala. You can come. Okay. At this point, you just have to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see yourself. <laughs> Alright. Thank you very much. I really. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. So we are still at Nanjing Street, right? Nanjing Street. We are still at Nanjing Street, and we saw our sister here. Okay, East Nanjing Street, and we saw our sister. And today, our sister is telling us that you can come to China. That you don't have any. She can come to China as a foreigner. That China is safe. Life is easy. Everything can go. Hello. Hello. The life is. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the life is cheap and everywhere is safe that you don't have to be scared of anything especially as a woman okay so now we are going to continue our walk down to the streets possibly we will see other africans or other foreigners that we can talk to at this point if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please do what subscribe to our channel and join this beautiful family because in this channel we post everything you need to know about foreigners living in China. At this 
but we couldn't continue because traveling with kids is not easy and as you can see the population is too much so the kids need to rest then tomorrow we'll continue our journey see you in our next video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel turn on your notification button because we have a lot to show you about shanghai city okay thank you for watching bye <laughs> Yeah, I think I got here.